Okay, time to start this DLC nonsense. Um, I don't know what suit I want to pick for this, though. I kind of don't want to use the default one, because I'm kind of going in with the mentality that that got, like, pretty destroyed. I kind of like this one. I'm going to use this one. Mary Jane Watson, Associate Editor. Begin research notes. My sources are saying the Magia is mounting a comeback. The old crime families were all but wiped out, until Fisk went away and they started filling the void. The old Dons were working harmoniously for years, but now that there's a power vacuum, there's bound to be a power struggle. It's only a matter of time before one of the families makes a move on the others. Better follow up with my sources in the Force. Hopefully we can stop this crime comeback before it even starts. you might be interested in. The Oscorp expose? New one. It's about the Magia crime families. The mob? I thought they went out with swing dancing. Both times. They were in decline, but with Fisk and the demons gone, La Cosa Nostra is making a comeback. I love it when you talk dirty. Easy, Tiger. So you know the feds raided the Magia last month? Sure. Well, one of the Dons had this lost masterpiece painting called the Maria. And now they're displaying it over at Manhattan Mocha. And? And I have a source who says one of the families is planning to steal it back. Tonight. Sounds like there's more to it than just art appreciation. Go swing by the museum. like about the DLC is that, um, I don't know, I just, I feel like they really kind of honed in on the banter between Peter and MJ. It's, it's just really natural, you know? Uh, just like, Laura Bailey and Yuri Lowenthal are both just very, very talented actors. MJ, looks like your source was right. There's a small army of goons trying to break in. Stay on the line while I take a closer look. Just be careful. If those guys are Magia, they play for keeps. Hurry up. Come on. The boss wants that painting. We should have been in and out by now. You want to try? Be my guest. Sheesh. Some people do anything to avoid paying full price admission. What about the guards? They give... See what I did with the title? Oh wait, no, that, that's just the name of the DLC, man. I didn't do anything creative there. <laughs> Back's getting sore. Security's tight. We already got those other pieces that belong to the These guys have to learn to appreciate art during business hours. Our 
That guy should be safe enough to take out. Oh wait, no. Last second. Time for a little demonstration of the fine art of subduing critics. I know some of these guys. That's Frederico Frizzelli and Sal Petrillo. Those guys are part of Hammerhead's crime family, right? Why would he want the Maria? It doesn't seem like his thing. I'm gonna look around. Make sure no one got in a different way. I'll let you know if I find anything. These guys couldn't even park legally. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a vent on the side here somewhere. It wasn't the nope. door. No one got in through here. Wait, what's this? What's 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 what, buddy? Could literally just be the roof, but I'm pretty sure that it was like a hole in the side of the building somewhere. Yeah, and I'm still participating in the mission, don't. I should check the roof, just in case. Yeah, hey, that was what is it. That? MJ, someone cut a hole in a skylight. I'm gonna check it out. So while Hammerhead's guys were trying to break in the front, someone else slipped in through the roof? Looks that way. No sign of anyone. At all. Shouldn't there be guards here at night? Yeah. Maybe check the security booth near the entrance. There should be cameras there, too. They would have seen whoever broke in. The security booth's secure. Need a palm print to get in. Any clue about what happened to the guards will be inside. If Is there a way to override the lock? Not without a guard's hand. <laughs> Actually, they're handprint. If you can't find the guards, maybe you can lift prints from the things they touched. Oh, yeah. Good idea. Always happy to lend a hand. Hmm. Wonder if there's a print on here. Got a handprint. Well, a part of one. Looks like I'll need more. Weird. It's like the guards just vanished. Now, where can I find some more partial prints? A flashlight. I can get a partial. Another one. Cool. Trained guards wouldn't leave their stuff around like this. Unless they didn't leave voluntarily. I think the last one is a bench on this floor. Oh. Well, if someone paid money for it, I guess that makes it art. I know there's a print on here. Just need to find it. That might work. And I think 12 down should be karaoke, not kumquat. Okay, I should have enough partials to reconstruct a handprint. I should be able to reconfigure the scanner so it takes my data. I 
Ah. If I bypass the optic sensor, I can upload my own data. Pe people can say what they like about these sections. I find them relaxing as hell. <laughs> Transmitting handprint now. We're in. Nice. What do you see? They're alive. Looks like they were tranquilized. No signs of a struggle. Definitely not Hammerhead style. So if not Hammerhead, who? Is there a camera feed? Let me check. Someone switched off camera five. Well, that's suspicious. Let me turn it back on and see what they didn't want anyone looking at. It's pointing at one of the paintings in the exhibit. That has to be the Maria. And no one's stolen it yet. I need to see this up close, figure out what's so special about it. pastoral impressionism. The saga of its repeated theft and recovery are almost as intriguing as the artwork itself. Looks like a pretty normal painting to me. It is. There's way more valuable stuff in that museum. So why is the Magia so worked up about this painting? Hang on, MJ. Someone's coming. Keep an eye out. Spider-Man could still be here. Oh, damn it. Got a lock behind security glass. Hey, tell Frank we're gonna need to break out the big guns. No, MJ, Hammerhead's guys called in reinforcements. They looks. haven't spotted me yet. Good. Try to keep it that way. Did not mean to fall. Is that the stealth section? Totally fine, but there's a part that comes after this that actually I, I have a lot of trouble with. Uh, that, uh, I was supposed to go for the takedown. Uh, at least I can get him into here. I don't really use that takedown very often. I don't really get the chance to. Night. 
hell is that? Cops will be here any minute. The hell with this. Grab what you can and run. Great. Now they're looting the other art. Gotta stop them before they make it out. This is the part I was talking about. There's only one way out of here. The way they came in. Basically, if even one of these guys ex escapes with um, with the artwork, next time try the gift you're, shop. Like you fail and you gotta restart. It's annoying. I generally tend to just like wait around the foyer for them to actually kind of get the crap together. Consolation prize, I send you a poster of that piece for your prison cell. I normally lose that about once, but I think that was the last guy. Oh, okay, I spoke too soon. Stay down. That's better. Peter, you there? You okay? Yeah. I think I got them all. A lot of art to put back, though. What about the Maria? This could have all been a distraction. My thoughts exactly. I'll head back there. Hopefully the glass was thick enough. Security walls intact. And bulletproof. Nobody's getting near the Maria anytime soon. Mission accomplished, then? I hope so. Yeah. I'm gonna have to call you right back. Why? What's going on? You look good. Been working out? Oh. I mean, you know, a little. So, you swinging solo now? Or back with your ex? That's a lot of questions. I'm just curious. Yeah, I hear that's bad for cats. How about you tell me why you're really here? I was just waiting for the right moment. Look behind you. Rockets? Who brings rockets to a museum? Have you not met Hammerhead? Ow.
So one thing that I really like about the heist uh, DLC here in general is um, it actually kind of reminds me of the old PS1 Spider-Man game quite a lot. I don't know if anyone here has ever played that, or maybe that just kind of dated me in some weird sort of way. But, uh, I don't know, there was this like one level I kind of set in a bank. It just sort of has the same vibe. It was like pretty much the first, I think it was like the first mission in that game. Uh, or like that, that, like, the, like the first kind of act anyways, you had to like stop a bomb in a bank or something like that. It's like you have to like put it into a vault. It was, um, it was a weird one, alright. I don't know why, this kind of just reminds me of that quite a lot. I think it, I think it's just like the stealth segments kind of entailing uh, using the ceilings a lot to your advantage and stuff like that, but, you know. What I'm getting at is that there's clearly like a certain amount of inspiration from that game in particular, which I'm definitely not complaining about. Like, Fort's time, freaking amazing, and... I'm just gonna put it out there, Doc Ock was the villain of that game as well. Like your new tricks. And I'm tired of your old ones. Weren't you gonna stop stealing art? Who said I'm here for the art? What are you doing? I you think there was an easier way to do that. Not again. Hey! Wait, 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 wait. Hey! Help! She go. Peter, is everything okay? Sorry, MJ. I just uh, ran into an old friend. Who? Trouble. I get the feeling that last part was actually supposed to be a quick time event, but I feel like Insomniac did kind of listen to the fans at that point when they were saying, "Hey, the QTEs are actually pretty annoying." Although, to be honest, I don't mind them. I actually find them quite cathartic. Um, and I also think it's kind of funny when you miss the prompt. Like, especially when you don't, like... You know, you know like, those so bits Black when... So Black Cat was um, the one who oh, went into the roof? She was working with Hammerheads guys? Yeah. She was probably watching me the whole time I was in there. Just tell me you didn't let her get away with the Maria. She didn't. Good. She smashed it and stole a data drive hidden in the frame. What? Sorry. So what do you think was on that drive? Good question. I'll start asking around. Then I guess I'll start following cat prints. Um, but what I was saying was, um... It's kind of like, um... Like you, you, know, you know when you, uh, get to those parts where you have to, like, stop the cars from speeding or stop them from crashing? And you have to, like, mash square in order to get them to actually stop? I gotta say, I actually find it way more enjoyable when Peter doesn't catch the car. <laughs> like, I don't think you lose any health or anything like that. If anything, you, lo you lose like the tiniest bit of health. But I just find it funny. Looks like another car bomb. Which family set it up this time? Hammerhead again? Probably. Might be more nearby. Better call in the bomb squad. And then, of course, there's the um, the iconic bombs <laughs> under things. We're time going to, go to die from like the Spider-Man Three Tobey Maguire game. That was, uh, good god, that was hilarious. <laughs> I didn't actually know that quick time event, or, uh, sorry, that, like, that, that like, quick time event failure existed, because, like, I've never failed that one. I got it right, like, when I was a kid, when I played that game. Honestly, that game is, like, a lot of fun. Um, it's just pure memes. 
Although I think my, my favorite, I mean, the Spider-Man 2 PS2 game is still a blast. It still Spider holds up Bob, today. This one's disabled. I was actually playing it recently, and um, like the actual missions still hold up, especially the Mysterio ones. Frankly, I, I was playing when I was playing that game. Gotta keep an ear out. While the Mysterio the missions were triggers. a lot more annoying. They still at least kind of pose a challenge, or at least challenge this enough for me to be like, yeah, this is go. still pretty enjoyable, to the degree where I actually thought it was more enjoyable than the um, the actual story missions in the game that were, you know, meant for, like, the movie license tie-in, you know? Hammerhead's on a mission. Better keep a lookout for more of these around the city. Yeah, be better look out for more of these throughout the city. I can guarantee you I'll be answering a whopping zero of the um, civilians' requests. I mean, one of the main things this game really kind of grabbed with me is that um, when the random crimes come up, it really makes you Hello? want to rush in. Spider-Man, this is Detective Mackey. I got your number from a friend in the force. I bet I know which friend. What can I do you for, Detective? Probably better if we spoke in person. Can you stop by the Greenwich Precinct when you get a chance? I hear you like meeting on rooftops. Sure thing. See you in a few. This will keep me busy while I wait to hear from MJ. That museum heist was crazy. It's not Black Cat's style to work with guys like Hammerhead. Hope MJ can find out the story behind that data drive. But yeah, the, um, the little kind of random crimes make you really actually want to jump in and help the people, but you've probably As seen you my main heard, menu from before, and I've completed this game quite a lot, so I, I think I'm done helping like civvies outside of the, um, outside of the main missions. Detective Mackey, I Just a little. Just, just a smidge. I want to talk to you about the black cat. I played the fifth. Not the new cat. The old one. 20 years ago. I worked the case. Black Cat is a copycat? Huh. What happened to the original? He died in prison. But we never found all the paintings he stole. I've got a new lead, but the department doesn't want to waste resources on an old case. Wasting resources is kind of my specialty. Great. Head to this location. I'll fill you in on the way. <sighs> Sorry, I was grabbing a quick drink. But, uh... Actually, th that's another thing. I was talking to my friend Mike about this recently. And... I appreciate your help. I'm retiring soon, and this case is my biggest loose end. So I went through the files to give it one last shot. The old cat preferred to steal art. But right before he got busted, he hit a smoke detector factory. Smoke detectors? That's random. Not really. He stole the americium 241 inside him. We thought he had a buyer for the radioisotopes, but I was watching a movie the other night and saw something that gave me an idea. What if he tagged the paintings he stole with those isotopes in order to help him find them once he got out? What movie were you watching? Wait, don't tell me. Spoilers. So I was thinking, if we tracked the isotope, we could find the stolen paintings. I have a scintillation counter in my suit that should do it. I'll call you if I find anything. Thanks, Spider-Man. If I can close the books on this one, I can retire in peace. Uh, but yeah, I was talking to my friend Mike about this recently, and I feel like there's a lot of similarities between the Peter in this and the Peter from Spectacular Spider-Man. Great TV show, it's on Netflix right now. Just no life it. It is addictive. It did get cancelled after two seasons, or like one season, I'm not I too sure. I think I'm close to one of those stolen paintings. There's like 22 episodes in total. And, uh, it's just, uh, it's probably one of my favorite versions of Spider-Man. Josh Keaton just plays Peter really well, and he's actually the in this game. From this power box. He plays Electro. I'm not detecting I don't know any if I mentioned, I don't know if I mentioned that fake. in my, um, playthrough before. Huh. An art storage tube. Detective, I found a stolen painting. It was hidden in a fake power box. Yes, I knew it. Leave it there. I'll have someone pick it up. In the meantime, I'll send you some other locations we know Hardy frequented. Sounds good. Wait, did you say Hardy? Yeah. The original cat's name was Walter Hardy. I'll pull his files and have more details next time we talk. 
Ah, look at the collectibles I'll never get. Anyways. <laughs> Walter Hardy, the original black cat. Felicia Hardy, the black cat that I know. This appears to be a family business. Don't get me wrong, I know it seems like I'm shitting on collectibles. I'm really not. Because uh, one thing that I will say about this game in particular is Peter, that it made uh, getting collectibles Hudson and North kind of enjoyable. Isn't that area controlled by the Magia? Yeah, whatever Black Cat stole, it might have just triggered a gang war. Well, I'm on my way to check it out. Any other updates on the museum heist? So here's what I got. Nobody knows what was on that drive in the Maria painting. But word is, Hammerhead now has the drive. And the Magia families are freaked out about it. Must have been pretty valuable if it made a notorious art thief ignore art. I wonder why she's working for Hammerhead. She usually flies solo. Who knows? I stopped trying to figure out Felicia a long time ago. Felicia, huh? You guys on a first name basis now? Well, I mean, I guess, maybe? Well, let's just keep each other in the loop, okay? One of the stolen paintings should be around here somewhere. But, uh, fuck, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, like, this game actually does, I mean, when you're playing the game not on stream for your own personal playthrough, getting the collectibles is actually very, very enjoyable. And I'd even say the same thing about the Miles game as well. Um, I think I'm only missing, like, one or two collectibles. I... I might actually try and get them sometime soon, just in my like, just in my free time away from streaming. Because, uh, like I said, I'm going to be streaming that game around Christmas, anyways. But again, I won't be getting any of the collectibles in that because I'll just be wanting to crack the story out. It's a really good game. If you even get a chance to like play the game or watch it even before I stream it, again, I will not be offended. Just like go watch it or play it. It's it's just it's just so good. Really heartwarming. It's like the backs, the like the backpacks in this are very fun to collect because it actually gives you backstory for this version of Peter too. Not being subtle. Time to shut this down before someone gets killed. Oh god. I did not intend that, he just sort of glitched through there. I did not mean to fling him that far. It's like when you try to throw something in the bin, and you just like overshoot it. No guns. Got them all. Delivery truck. Hope it's those new slippers I ordered. Uh, putting it out there now. I hate these guys. Did not look like that online. I refuse to sign for this package. Oh boy, gang's all here. Actually, I'm just going to use a takedown and get rid of them, like, right now, because they're annoying as hell. Did I get everyone? All right, all right, all right, I give up. Do I get time off if I talk? You won't if you don't. Oh. 
the, the, the white haired chick. She told us to come down here and make some noise. Sucker bait. And I'm the sucker. Where'd you meet her? The, the bodega on Waverly. Uh. MJ, the whole shootout was a distraction. Black Cat set it up to draw police away from Waverly Street. One of the other Magia families has a front on Waverly. The Ciceros, I think. Maybe I can still catch her. Felicia takes her time. She's nothing if not methodical. Is she now? Uh, I'll keep you posted. There's the bodega. All right, Felicia, where are you? I kind of wish Ireland had like 24 hour convenience huh, stores. Like this. Asphalt. Looks like I'm going up. Sometimes she's got cravings for Doritos at like 2 in the morning, you know? There's her stakeout gear. What were you looking at, Felicia? There's someone's window, I think. I think it was over here. Just gotta look for the one apartment with actual rendered furniture. Gotcha. Spider. Felicia, the Magi are no joke. You shouldn't be playing with them. Oh, but I like to play. Spider-Man? He's working with the cat! Get him! Nobody steals from the sister of family and live! You guys sure do jump to quick conclusions. for Hammerhead or any other crime family. I'm just... wrong place, wrong time! Wait, I have like a bunch of different webs. I think I can actually just electrocute this guy. Oh. I could die here. I might actually die here. I just gotta, like, unleash my inner yo-yo. Fun. Now where's Felicia? I like watching you. Reminds me of old times. What's on that drive? Not entirely sure, to be honest. Then why are you stealing it? If I don't. 
They'll kill my son. Wait, your son? Damn it. Felicia has a son? It can't be. I mean, it could be, and I could be. No, 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 no. I'm not going to think about that right now. MJ, I found the cat, but she got away. Really? How methodical of her. She stole another data drive. Hmm. So each family has a drive. Here it's on them. Did you learn anything else? Uh, well, not much. Okay. Sounds like she's helping Hammerhead make a power play on the other crime families. Which could end badly for everyone. The last thing the city needs is a gang war. I'll let you know if I turn up any info on those drives. No, Sean, I'm telling you, the greys actually kind of suit you. The salt and pepper look is in, man. <laughs> I'm, not, like, I'm not even joking. What's up, FM? It's your number one fan! Screwball, that was her. Wait a minute. Screwball? Oh. Ugh, don't tell me you're out of jail. I sure am! And I brought some of my fans with me! Oh, aren't they just the cutest? <laughs> They're helping me set up for my new show. In fact, I'd love for you to swing! Something tells me those guys weren't released for good behavior. Better get over there and check it out. Trust me, I am I spared you about maybe three hours of that by avoiding her side quests in, um, in the main game. I think I'm close to one of those stolen paintings. If you followed my career, and of course you have, you know I notched my first big bylines covering the Magia crime family. The media has declared them dead more than once, but not unlike cockroaches, they always come back, just like they're doing... Time to put Screwball's fans back behind bars where they belong. Hey guys, I promise to go easy on you if you promise to stop idolizing internet celebrities. One thing hasn't changed. Screwball's getting others to do her dirty work. What were they setting up anyway? Spider-Man! Wasn't that exciting? Perfect way to kick off my brand new show! Starring you! Sorry, my dance card's full. Pretty sure you'll make time for this. Cause if you don't, my fans will get angry and people will die. <laughs> I just love reality shows, don't you? Uh, some people do anything for clicks. I'll be live streaming every moment, so don't screw up. Mwah! Yeah, I'm gonna just imagine the police handled this one because I sure as shit ain't. I'm out. <laughs> Like, honestly, I know that like th that interaction seemed, like, maybe a little harmless, but I swear to god, just, uh, Screwball is just annoying as hell. And don't get me wrong, I know that she's supposed to be annoying, she's supposed to, like, be there to irritate the player, but it's just not handled very well. Like, it's just meant to be a, um, caricature of, like, the Gen Z fucking archetype, which, you know, whatever, everything's open to... Parody or whatever, but at least make it a good one. 
It's like, oh yeah, Gen Z and Millennials are obsessed with their phones, uh, okay. Like, yeah, shwatevs, I don't, I, like, it's, it's funny for maybe ten minutes. And then, you know, it just gets old, man. It gets old. It ages like milk. Hey, Peter. I might have found Black Cat's next target. Really? How? Because according to police dispatch, there was just a burglary matching her M.O. I'm sending you the location. Hey, if you find her, don't let her play you again. Yeah, I'll be on guard. She's... I don't know. She just seems to bring bad luck wherever she goes. Black Cat brings bad luck? That's a little on the nose, Pete. Blocked off the whole street. If I can pick up the cat's trail, maybe I can catch up to her. Looks like the security guard was hurt. Maybe the EMT can tell me what happened. What happened here? Spider Man, uh, I heard someone stole a rare book or something. Is the guard gonna be okay? Pretty bad case of photokeratitis. Basically, a flash burn of his corneas, but he'll recover. I need to check the alley. If Felicia did this, I've got to find her. Antique book. Looks like it's volume two of a set. Where's volume one? There's a high-end pawn shop owned by the Macho family around here. Felicia already took two data drives from other families. Did she just take a third? There have to be more clues around here. Magnesium flare. Probably what burned that guard's eyes. If I analyze the residue, I can track her. Okie dokie. And now I need the one with the three. No, that can't be it. But I can put that in here, I think. Nope. That's promising. This one? Ha ha! Oop, wrong one. Maybe the using the one with just four and it's a little too obvious. Could it? No. No, okay. Now nah, I feel stupid, but there we go. It's done. I mean, I could turn on the option that just turns off all of the mini games, but honestly, I I find them relaxing at the very least. I don't trail. really find them annoying. Let's see where it leads. Having a like, hard time I, I was gonna, I, I was gonna turn them off. I mean, technically but... I can be, but I need to tell MJ. She looks like a member of the Machio crime family. What if it's not definite? Why am I even telling? 
Wait, but uh, yeah, I was gonna turn them off, but like just for streaming. But I don't know if like it's. It's it's relaxing enough, and I'm able to kind of just talk over them. Like I told the Cicero guys, I do not work. Better get back on the trail. I think my favorite ones to do are the like, little circuit ones though. It's just, it's easy on the eye. They're fun. They're, ugh. They're just, they're just, uh, I, I, I don't know. They they're like they're just a blast. Guys. There aren't as many of them in the MJ, Miles Morales game though, which kind of annoyed me. I mean, it didn't annoy me. Got it. Anno like, you know saying that it annoyed me would be a little bit it? dramatic. Yeah. It was just, their presence, or lack thereof, was noticed and missed. Oh, hell. Where's the drive? She says she wanted to deliver it to Hammerhead personally. Didn't I tell you to get the drive? Yeah, but she gave the other ones to him, so I just figured... So I tell you to do something, and you don't do it! Now, you know what happens next. Wait! Wait! Wait, 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 wait! Oh. Hey, don't act so surprised. You said you knew what happened next. And another thing, the music in this game is just so fun. But like, at the same time, during the more emotional scenes, when... I don't know, I feel like the, the music isn't as noticeable in those scenes, and I think that's intentional because it allows you to just, like, feel something, you know? Uh, and another thing, actually, because I... When it comes to, uh, I think I mentioned this during my Resident Evil playthrough, so I'll be brief about it. I just love photo modes in games, like I am a photographer. And uh, seeing a photo mode in games, especially during lockdowns as well, it kind of gave me an excuse to um, kind of use something similar to a camera without going outside to use my camera, you know, because of reasons. Um, and, uh, I don't know, it kind of just gave me the outlet that I needed to kind of exert that sort of creativity. So, having a photo mode in a game like this um, is really cathartic to just kind of use. Great. And, um... Here, fellas, it's probably overdue. And, uh, so I, I kind of have a tendency to either turn the music off just so I can, you know, go around the city and get whatever shot that I want. MJ, the cat got another data drive. There's one more and Hammerhead has the drives from all the other Magia families. We gotta figure out what's on those drives. And there's something else. There's this thing. Probably not a big thing, but it could be a thing. A little, maybe big thing. Please say a sentence that doesn't include the word thing. Okay. The reason Felicia's working for Hammerhead is because he took her son. Huh. I didn't know she had a son. Well, certainly sounds like something Hammerhead would do. There's this, uh, other thing. You know that she and I, uh, dated for a while. Yeah, so... Oh. Oh, are you serious? I mean, I don't know for sure, but it's possible. Ew. Ugh. I need to hang up now. Okay then. She'll call back when she's cooled off. Right? Uh so yeah. I think uh, I'll go on patrol for a while. Like, <laughs> sorry. <in my> head. <laughs> I mean it's not it's not like my or the my fault or the game's fault, but it's just like it cuts across me every so often what like just right when I go to start talking and I'm just like, uh fuck's sake. <laughs> This, this is giving me, like, fucking trauma flashbacks to so many conversations. But, uh, but yeah, it's like, I sometimes turn the music off completely when I'm just going around the city. Or I, like, I'll turn on Spotify on my PlayStation with my own music, kind of, when I'm taking pictures. But sometimes I just do it in complete silence. And one thing that I will say 
is that uh, even turning off the music entirely doesn't hinder the game at all. And I think that's the sign of something that really Hi, captures you your here? attention. It's Miles. I was wondering, uh, wait, is this a bad time? No, it's fine. What's up? Oh, uh, nothing? I mean, wait, are you doing Spider-Man stuff right now? A little bit, yeah. Really? Like what, specifically? You mean, what am I doing right now, at this moment? Yeah, uh, unless you think that's, like, creepy or weird or something. Yeah, yeah, it probably is. I bet I sound like a stalker or something. Miles, it's okay. What did you want to talk about? Nothing. Nothing. I'm sorry. It, it can wait. I'll call you back later. Okay. I will be right back, because I gotta use the bathroom. Um, but considering we're waiting for the next mission to pop up, I'm just gonna mute my mic and leave you with this lovely view, so you can kind of just either listen to J. Jonah or wait for the mission to pop up. So I'll be right back. Hey, MJ. First things first, head to this address. It's the last known address of the Costa family safe house. If my source is right, they have the final data drive. MJ, listen. No, you listen. I, I kind of overreacted the last time we talked. Not at all. You reacted exactly how I would have. We weren't together at the time. And it's not like I didn't date other people. Right. Wait, you dated people? Like, like plural? The point is, we're adults, and there's a kid in danger, so let's get to saving him. I don't deserve you. I know. Okay, so I think I know what's on those drives. Years ago, the families agreed to a joint accounting database in order to keep the peace. Put all their assets in one place. And require all five data drives to access it. So Hammerhead steals Black Cat's son. And then forces her to steal the drives so he can steal the assets from the other families. Hammerhead's trying to get rich quick, and bankrupt the other families in the process. We have to find that last drive before he does. I'm on it. Okay, I have returned and I see the notification or um, map marker has appeared, so back to it. One second, I just gotta put my phone on charge, because that is what I am reading my comments off of. Here we go.
I really like how the city looks at night, but on photo mode. Yikes. Seems like one of those stolen paintings is around here. Because there's so many really, really cool shots that you could theoretically take at night in this game, but the lighting, while obviously it's, it is kind of semi-realistic, it's just not enough to take a decent photo. That's one thing that the photo mode in the Miles Morales game did like really freaking well. I feel like they they saw that uh, issue with this game, and in the next game they actually added. Uh, actually, I'll show you. Um, oh, didn't mean to do that. Say good night. Photo mode. Okay, so you see how there's different modes here. There's camera mode, lens filters, uh, filters and frames, and there's sticker mode as well somewhere. Um, oh yeah, if you press square, if you see down the bottom right, if you press square, it goes into sticker mode, which is a different menu. Um, in the Miles game, they have another menu for lights. You can put like a spotlight um, above Miles and below him, or you can use like a spotlight. And uh, then when you hide the UI to take your photo, the... Um, light source, like a little ball that the light kind of comes from, doesn't show up in your shot, obviously. It's Priority just, alert. it's Up really, really, it's such a good idea. I I think more games need to utilize that. Same goes for, um, it, like, in Fallen Order. I know I didn't really use that photo mode in, uh, I haven't used that photo mode a lot either way, because I just don't think there's many opportunities beyond just exploring. I like action shots, uh, not so much landscape, which is weird because in real life I really like taking landscapes. But um, the Fallen Order photo mode is great because if you click in one of the thumbsticks, you can actually activate a spotlight that like hangs over where your, your camera is positioned at, at that point in time. It's a really nice little feature. Uh, I, uh, man, I just, I'm just, I'm, I'm really stoked to see more games put photo mode in. I feel like it was wasted in Village because Capcom were very secretive about Ethan's goddamn like, face. I feel like they could have done something similar to the, to the, um, the Cyberpunk photo mode, where um, Felicia, I'll, I'll explain after we this need to talk. Oh, I do miss our little chats, but I've got to run. <laughs> She shorted out my web shooters with an EMP. Guess I'm doing this the old-fashioned way. So yeah, uh, I want to help. In in Cyberpunk 2077, you can't do this alone. Why not? I've done everything else alone. I'm saying you don't have to. The game is mostly in um, first person. We worked together before. Therefore, the Answer character model question, does not require a head, other than like the shadow. Felicia, and Resident Evil Village it? sort of does the same thing. It's mine, and I'll handle it. Maybe However, I don't think it's a problem. Wait, unless you mean the gang war, because that's definitely a problem. Stay away. I'm better off on my own. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think, um... I you stop Hammerhead! How? No killing, no breaking the law? Your way won't get it done! I mean, technically speaking, Spider-Man breaks the law on the regular, son. so that's a little bit, uh... I just uh, need to know. Is he... I don't know. Mine, and I'll take care of him. Uh, this part of the game always really fucks me up. Purely because of, like, the camera, just it just kind of turns me around. Which is fine. It's whatever. It's it's like one little tunnel chase Still sequence. With me? I could go all night if that's what it takes. It's probably a me problem, honestly. Guess I gotta play harder to get. 
Need to get closer. Last time. Don't look for me. Um, but yeah, in uh, oh shit. Stop running. In uh, Cyberpunk, obviously, um, because you're in first person for most of the time, your character model doesn't actually require any semblance of like having a physical head, other than when your character looks in mirrors, when you're on your motorcycle, if you're driving in third person, and you can just like see through the windscreen. Um, and Resident Evil Village, the same thing. They only rendered Ethan's head in like the last couple of cutscenes. And um, in photo mode, in uh, in Cyberpunk, it renders a whole new model for the character for V. Now can we talk like human beings? This feels pretty human to me. I know what's on those drives you're stealing. Look at you, brawn and brains. You can't give Hammerhead the last drive. Once he has what he wants, your son will just be a loose end. Let me help you. What are you thinking? Stall him. Give us some time to find your son. I missed you. Glad we're back together again. Not like that. Shame. Okay. I can probably give us a couple days, Max. So, about your son. Is there a chance I'm- Later. For now, let's find him. When he's safe. We can talk about that. Keep in touch, Spider. Oh, MJ's gonna kill me. So, when you go into photo mode in cyber... Oh, fuck's sake. Hey, you get her this time? <laughs> yeah, she's gonna stall Hammerhead while we all try to find her son. Did she tell you if you're... She didn't say. Of course she didn't. Are you sure she's not just playing you? I know her. She wouldn't be working for someone like Hammerhead unless she had to. Okay. Well, I'm gonna run that plate number you sent me. I'll let you know where it leads. Whew. I'm running out of steam. Time for a pick-me-up. Eddie's Pizza. Eddie, it's Spider-Man. Spidey, you sound hungry. You know it. Can I get the usual? Extra pepperoni? I'm on it. You want rooftop delivery? Yes, please. Same rooftop as last time. Give me a few. I'll let you know when it's ready. So... Well, I'm waiting on Eddie. Let me head out into the city and see what's what. It'll give me a chance to just kind of swing around for a bit and explain what I've been trying to explain for the past little while. When you go into photo mode in Cyberpunk, it renders a whole new character model with the character that you created and lets you sort of, um, you know, pose them and take a picture of the scene. Or you can just literally take the photo in first person, you know, which is also fine. I feel like Resident Evil Village could have done the same thing if they weren't such pussies about, like, not showing Ethan's face. We've all seen the character model's face. We all know what Ethan looks like. So there's... There's really no point in hiding it. Um... Hi, Miles. Just calling you back. What was it you wanted to ask before? Hey, Peter. Uh, it was just... I mean, it's no big deal or anything. I know you're super busy. I was just wondering if... There might be some time we could, you know, start training. Training? Yeah, maybe just the basic stuff, like swinging from a skyscraper. Or swinging from a low building. Or a tree. Miles, you're 15. You need to focus on school. That's way more important than... Yeah, but if I finish all my homework early and you've got some free time one day... I mean, you started when you were 15, right? And I nearly got myself killed at least a hundred different times. I can't let that happen to you. Okay. Yeah, I get it. Talk to you later. Oh, man. What am I gonna do with that kid? 
So yeah, I just don't really see Capcom's problem with showing Ethan's face. I think it was just maybe the technology, uh, not being able to do the proper ray tracing for uh, a face model when they didn't actually record any face motion capture for Ethan at all. Which again, I get it, but at least maybe do something facial capture wise for just, you know, for photo mode, if they were going to put in photo mode at all. I mean, all that tells me is that they're going to work photo mode into their future Resident Evil games, which I am a-okay with. I have been saying forever that um, Resident Evil 2 Remake needed photo mode because, like, it's such an aesthetically pleasing game. The same with Resident Evil 3 Remake. Honestly, very, very, very pleasant game to look at. Um, a lot of opportunities to kind of like mess around with the photo modes and filters, or even if it was just your basic photo mode like what they used in um, in Devil May Cry 5. I don't know man, I just think it would be a cool idea. So yeah, I think if Resident Evil Village did something similar to like Cyberpunk's photo mode, would have been a lot better. Alright Spidey, your pie's ready. Thanks, you're a lifesaver. Nah, that's your job. But if you like it, can you give us a shout out on the social medias? Really helps the business. We'll do. Later, Eddie. Uh, that just reminded me. I really want to get a takeaway pizza sometime soon hungry. because I haven't really had one in quite a while. I was gonna get one tonight, but then you know, I had you know, regular dinner, uh, had some bolognese. So I was kind of like, yeah, maybe don't add a pizza to that. Maybe during the week. I don't know. Maybe even next weekend for cheat day. Um, cause this is really good, uh, this is a really, really good place. Um, I mean, anyone just kind of in Ireland would kind of know, but anyone outside, whoever comes here to visit, go to a Mazzoni's. Mazzoni's is pretty much the best pizza in at least Dublin. I wouldn't know about other counties because I haven't tried it in other counties. But, um, Mazzoni's really, really good. Like, they, um, they have, like, I mean, obviously it's a chain, so to speak, but they have, like, certain pizza shops of theirs throughout, uh, at least Dublin, are their original sort of mom and pop joints. If you get the one from Lucan, uh, or, at, like, Adam's Hand, they're one of the original ones, at least, as far as I know. Regardless, pizza's really good. Get a wagon wheel and split it between, like, three people. Yeah, y y you won't regret it. Shit's good. It's just, um, I don't know what they put into their sauce, but I am convinced it's crack cocaine. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I know my experience, the delivery guys are also super nice as well. They, um, I don't know. They're just nice. Nice dudes. I oh, just make him hungry. I love you. But now, I must destroy you. Alrighty, I think now we swap over to MJ for a little bit. But yeah, um, Mazzoni's man. You gotta try Mazzoni's. Uh -huh. Hey, I followed up on that license plate. It's registered to a storage company owned by one of Hammerhead's old friends. I'm there now. Uh, give me a few minutes. Um, I'll be there as soon as I can. In the meantime, I'll just take a quick look around. Okay, first things first. Look around, see if the boy is being held here, and if he is, get him out safely. What do I do if the kid looks like Peter? Stop, MJ, just stop. This guy looks like he needs a nap. I am so glad they let her keep What's the shock. That? Like the She's stun gun bills. from the uh, campaign, like from like the main story. Hobby. Got it. Do it. Give me a hand with this. It's 
heavier than your mother. You crazy? I can't be lifting that. You know Where am I supposed to be going? Here. Yo, Mikey, help me out, will ya? Stewie's got a terminal case of being a wuss. Oh damn! I was hoping I'd get to shock him. <laughs> I mean, hey, if the game's gonna give me a stun gun, I'm gonna use it. What the? Yeah, better investigate. Check that out. Huh? If that's a pigeon, it's gonna be a dead pigeon. Zappy zappy. Nothing here. All that stuff about hammerhead cracking guys' skulls. It's just hype, right? Do your job and hope you never find out. <laughs> they should not have given me this much power. That's a lot of cash. Looks counterfeit. No sign of the boy here. Weird as the idea of Pete being a dad is to me, I can't imagine what it's like for him. But I bet he'd be a good one. Bzz. <laughs> I'm getting way too I much enjoyment out of this. <laughs> Might help build a case for this. I'll see if my contacts on the force can positively ID him. All day with this damn phone. Get back to work. No more slacking off. An unguarded laptop. Golden opportunity. A shipping manifest. This could lead to their distribution center. Come on, come on. Oh, hell no. Oh. All right, I'll tell the boy. The Costa family is causing trouble. Acting like they want to go to war. I gotta have a sit down, see what we do about this. We're on high alert. You see anyone? Don't take any chances. Take them out. Okay, got all the shipping company data, uh -oh. which will hopefully tell us where they're keeping her son. I'll look through it later. But now, gotta get out of here quietly. Who? Zappy, Zappy. Ah, hey, Zappy, Zappy. Is it true Hammerhead got shot in the head and lived? Damn right. <laughs> Spit one of the bullets right back at the guy who shot it. After that, oh, that's you a, got the plate put. That's in. a nice stack of money you got there. It'd be a shame if someone were Maybe to uh, off. ruin it. <laughs> ah, what a mess! Who's gonna clean it up? You. Ah, oh, thread the needle. How about you? How about both? <laughs> How about both? I think I've outstayed my welcome. Better get out of here fast. Okay, everybody, huddle up. We gotta talk about this situation. Close as I ever want to cut it. Yeah, son of a. Sorry, 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 mm -hmm. sorry. What are you doing here? And why do you smell like pizza? Because I just ate pizza. Well, while you were out enjoying lunch, I was gathering evidence and trying to find a missing child. I ate as fast as I could. I've got stuff to follow up on. I'll call you later. Oh. Note to self. No upside downies after double pepperoni. Thanks. Pretty good advice, to be honest. Hey, I need your help. I'll send you the location. Felicia? What's going on? Unbelievable. She expects me to just rush on over? And here I am, rushing on over. One of the stolen paintings should be around here somewhere. For me to ignore. <laughs> Um, hey Peter. Uh, 
I've been thinking it over, and you're totally right. I need to focus on school right now. Glad to hear it. But I still want to stay active, so I tried out for the basketball team. That's okay, right? Uh, yeah. Just be careful. Keep it believable. Don't do anything too flashy. Like what? Well, no dunking, obviously. Oh, right. Of course. Miles? It was just once, and the dude was talking trash. It was so perfect, I wish you'd have been there. Miles! I won't do it again. I promise. As long as you agree to start training me. Uh, let me think about it. <sighs> cool, cool. Okay, homework time. Gotta go. At least he's responsible. He's doing his homework. He's a good kid. He's I think I'm close to one fine. of those stolen paintings. All units advised. We just received a missing persons report on a VIP witness. Available officers, move on Yorkville. But yeah, if you're in Dublin, Mazzoni's. Best pizza. This is not a sponsorship, it's just really good pizza. <laughs> that is the, that, that's, that, that's it really. Um, I mean, we have a Papa John's in like, in the city center, but like, you know, which is fine if you're just kind of in the city center and you want pizza, that's, you know, not trash. Fontaine's is also another good place. So what are we looking at? And Got a Ray's. Tip from an old friend. Taylor Ray's on Temple Bar is really, really good. valuable in that office above the bar. A lot of guys in there. If they spot me, my son's dead. I'll draw them out. Then you sneak in. My hero. Come on. <laughs> Please. Actually, that's one thing that I will say. I mean, I've had pizza in New York. First of all, best like that's probably the best pizza I've ever had. Period. But uh, I think the closest thing that I've ever gotten to um, New York pizza here in Ireland would be uh, Ray's on Temple Bar. It, I don't know, it kind of just captures a similar flavor, I suppose. Uh, I've been trying to kind of make similar pizza to that here, but I don't know. I've, I haven't been quite able to ever replicate it. So what do you think about working with Someday. the <laughs> Bad idea. I wouldn't trust her to hold the door open for me. Hmm. Well, I'd be more than happy to hold the door open for her. You're a real gem. But seriously, that time. Uh, you... We've had a couple of smashy, smashy. Plus, no way the boss would leave something to chance. We're running all the family territories by the end. I'll be happy. That's the spirit. You want another drink? Nah, I'm supposed to be watching the door. He's down. I don't want to get too loose. Huh? Sleep it off. Somebody. Do 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 do. Heads up, Spider. I think they're on to you. That's one thing that I really don't like. It doesn't really matter if you fail the um, stealth sections here at all because it's literally just. Um, it's gonna turn into a melee fight, anyways. So it doesn't really reward you for doing really well in. Um, it doesn't really reward you for doing really well in stealth the way, say, like the Arkham games do. Because if you um, is like once you take out all of the uh, once you take out all of the stealth section enemies in Arkham, it's very much a thing of um, you just don't have to deal with those enemies again. You just finish the encounter crap. and that's Everyone it. Hit him at once. Where in this it's like, oh yeah, I finished the stealth section without being seen once. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, they're onto you and now they're everywhere. Nice 
Nice hook. Checking out my gear? No, it just never mind. You first, Spider. No, no, no. Did you find the location of the vault? No. But we're narrowing it down. And it's definitely where he's keeping my son. Yeah, speaking of him, there's an overdue conversation we... Do you ever miss this? What? Me getting shot at while you steal things? I really tried going straight. Got a job that didn't involve breaking or entering. Even started wearing sweatpants on weekends. I wondered where you went. Must have been hard for you, especially with a child. I need to go deeper, if I'm gonna find him. Let me help. If we're supposed to be working together... Some things I do better alone. Some things. I'll call you if I need an extra pair of hands. Hey, MJ. Did you get any good info from that laptop? I'm still decrypting the data. Should have something soon. Good. In the meantime, we've got another lead. We think Hammerhead's keeping her son in a vault. But we don't know where the vault is. Once I crack these files, maybe we can combine my chocolate with your peanut butter. Do not make a saucy joke out of that. It's hard to resist a setup like that. But I'll hold this off. Thanks, MJ. Let me know what you find. Okay, got some time to kill. Let's see what's happening out in the city. I love how it's like, oh yeah, upgrade your gear and your abilities. Like I haven't played this, played through this like, you know, a lot. <laughs> Okay, I think we're kind of nearing the end of the um, the heist DLC. I'm pretty sure there's maybe... Um... Oh no, because that happens in the next one. I was thinking of the bar. So yeah, I think we actually are nearing the end of the heist. Of Spider-Man chasing the black cat across the rooftops. And apparently there are hordes of young people cheering them on. They're called shippers. No, that has nothing to do with boats. It's short for relationship as in they really want spider-man and the black cat to be together romantically or they really don't and they have quite intense arguments about it blame wars i believe is the term you know in my day we didn't have time for blame wars about shipping you know why because we had jobs so here's jay jonah jameson's public service announcement to our youth 
You're into shipping? Join the Navy! Always a pleasure, JJ. Um, but yeah, one thing I find kind of really funny about that particular remark is uh, he's like, oh yeah, people who, uh, it's like, we didn't have time for shipping and all this other sort of stuff. I was kind of like, yeah, no, you just ship like real people Peter, together and that just got really laptop. unhealthy. <laughs> you know that room size vault you were talking about? I found a record of it being delivered to a shipyard near Hell's Kitchen. That's gotta be where the boy is. Thanks, MJ. Better call Felicia. At this hour, it's either a booty call or you found something. Hopefully your son. I'm sending you an address. Meet me there. Because like, that's kind of just one thing about that particular like, kind of generation. Like, you know, not necessarily my, um, my family in particular, but, you know, their friends and stuff like that. It's like, um, it's like you, you know, just like from... Um, like maybe my, my mom's generation or something like that. Like, uh, they would be obsessed with like, Oh yeah, you have to meet this person. I think you hit it off with this person and this person. I'm kind of just like, Yeah, okay, cool. But think like, you're kind of, of obsessing over paintings. this just a little bit. You know? Just a little. At least when it's fictional, it's fine. <laughs> it's harmless when it's fictional. But it's kind of like... All units. I don't know. Actually, you know, people in people in my own kind of generation as well. I've I've found certain people who almost take it as a personal offense that you didn't want to meet up with the person that they want you to get with, and I just find that fucking funny. I mean, obviously they need therapy, but that's just funny. Beyond the therapy thing, I mean, if you need therapy, get therapy. But you know. Shipping in real life is weird, guys. Don't do it. <laughs> MJ nailed it. This place is isolated. They could keep the kid here for weeks without anyone noticing. <laughs> this is the place. I know it. If they spot us, it's over. We need to take them all out. Like we used to. Quiet as a cat. Sneaky as a spider. <laughs> I don't know, man. Have you ever like if they heard us, cats? They kill your you know, we have to do this quietly. Screaming. <laughs> they um, they can be pretty loud, man. Like when a cat like really, really wants something, they're uh, they they're just loud. <laughs> a lot of guys guarding this place. This won't be easy. Like no shade on cats. They just know what they want. Oh no. Uh oh. Yeah. I, yeah, I played that pretty carelessly. I'll just do that again. Okay. How about that guy? Nobody's messing with us tonight. Damn right. Not yet. I think there's actually a way to make it so Black Cat does all the work for you. Um, but Patience I'm not going to do that today. <laughs> a lot of guys guarding this place. This won't be easy. This guy? Split those guys up. Nighty night. Another one down. The hell is that? <laughs> Literally didn't see that coming. Are you showing off for me? Going in. Just give the word, Spider. Hang on a sec. No, we'll be seen. Sounds like the boss is worried about getting ripped off. Who do you think They'll is spot us. enough to steal from the boss, cat? Don't know. I never thought it was a good idea to hire her. Bad luck for you. Good one. Let's keep it going. 
I'm on him. Oh, he's on his own. Oh, no, he's not. Fetch. This guy is ripe for the picking. Wait for it. Need a better position. Hey. Just a few left. Hush. Nice one. I love when you're an assertive spider. Of places to hide a vault around here. You check the shipping containers while I check in that building over there. Felicia. What? I'm sorry Hammerhead did this to you. Yeah, well, he's about to find out. You mess with the cat, you get the claws. Uh, uh, I'm check out those shipping containers. I'm pretty sure there is just a particular shipping container that does let you get it right first time. I don't remember which one it is, so... Uh, just a bunch of boxes. Better keep looking. <sighs> Pianos. That's random. But no kid. On to the next one. <sighs> Building supplies. And no kid. He's gotta be in one of these containers. Here we go. Sable International. What is this stuff? Whoa. Hammerhead's got sable weapons. I wonder what else he has. Well, that answers that question. Spider-Man! Shoot him! Hammerhead thugs and sable weapons. The perfect mashup I never asked for. Now, this is kind of what I was talking about from uh, my last stream, where like the weapons get just like a little bit sci-fi. where are you? Um, I mean, it was fine as like a game changer for the main game because like, oh yeah, Sable International is involved now, and now like you know you have to deal with these guys, and it's their own faction, and now it's just like. Okay, how do we ramp up the challenge while also using assets that we've already kind of got in the game? And then they were just like, oh yeah, just fucking give them the sable weapons, it's fine. I don't know. It kind of, I think this is kind of really where the um, DLC sort of lost me. Uh, like, I actually think my favorite, my favorite part of the three-part DLC actually is the heist because it's still kind of, I don't know. It still kind of felt uh, true to form. Felicia, are you hurt? I don't know. I can't really explain it too well. Like the DLC is still fine and all. Uh, I still have fun playing it from time to time. One of these times being kind of now. Nah, like I don't, I don't hate it, but I, you know. I can feel like, like, like from my first playthrough, this is definitely where they started to lose me a little bit. Get out of your way, 
Did you stick that time? No, he did. No, he did. APCs, rocket launchers, miniguns? What did you guys not steal from Sable? Oh, I forgot about the rocket launcher guys, and they normally kill me every time. So I'm going to try and take care Gotta of those. clear these real guys quick. out and find Felicia. Shit. Are you guys sure you know how to use those weapons? Okay, looks like you do. Oh, f yeah. These these particular like the sable oh, rocket launchers tend to like really take it out of me. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. But hey, only one death so far, as far as I, as far as I know. So that's something. APCs, rocket launchers, miniguns. What did you guys not steal from Sable? Fuck it. There we go. Whoa, that was close. Damn. Gotta clear these guys out and find Felicia. sure you know how to use those weapons? Okay, looks like you do. Okay, where's the other heat seeker? Ah, uh, there. Oh, wait, nope. I latched onto the wrong person, but I know where the other guy is, so that's all that matters. That's it. Gonna be sore tomorrow. Okay, time to find Felicia. She said she was heading into that building. Felicia? The vault. Felicia. No, no, no. You gotta be kidding me. Tell me you weren't just stringing me along! Sorry, sweetie. But I needed help to pull off a job this big. All you ever wanted was Hammerhead's drive. The entire wealth of the Magia. In the palm of my hand. You gave Hammerhead fake drives? You think he's gonna be mad at me? So... The kidnapping? Y y your son? That was all just a lie? Lie is such an ugly word. I prefer misdirection. Do the right thing. 
Take the drives to the police. Hey, I earned these. Besides, Hammerhead's on a mission and nothing is gonna stop him. If anything, I just help slow him down a bit. They cleaned out the whole yard! Check the fault! Time to go. I'll raise a glass to you on the Riviera. Felicia! We're in. And? Uh, drive's gone. Uh, new plan. There's a tracker on that drive. Find her and kill her. And if she's dumb enough to go to a little penthouse, I've got a crew waiting there to send it sky high. What about the drives? I don't care about the drives. I just want her dead. Got it. We'll find her. If there's a tracker on that drive, Felicia's in trouble. Gotta get to her, fast. Miss me already? Hammerhead knows where you are and he's going to kill you. There's a tracker on his drive. I don't get you, Spider. I just calmed the hell out of you and here you are trying to save me. How can you be so damn nice all the time? It's not about being nice, it's about doing the right thing. You've got so many talents. I wish you'd use them to help someone other than yourself. Yeah, well, you should know by now. That's not how I roll. People can change, Felicia. Love you, Spider. I'll miss you. Wait, your penthouse, he's rigged it to explode! Don't worry. I've still got all nine lives left. Damn it! Hang on, Felicia. I'm coming. Oh yeah, Sean, I was even kind of just like mentioned earlier, I think it was when you were, you, you might have been in between devices at the time, but I was just saying like the lighting, it does look great, but then when you're trying to go into photo mode while the lighting is realistic, it's not really ideal for photo mode. Nice though. Felicia! You know, it's really funny if you, um, when you play this game yourself for the first time, when you finish this segment, there's a, a trophy that comes up saying, Bye, Felicia. <laughs> uh, I mean, getting your refreshments is certainly allowed. Um, but yeah, the lighting, mechanically speaking, it's it's good. Like, especially, like, the nighttime segments of this, they, they're very fun to play but I just don't think they did like a particularly good job at like making the suits stand out in the in the dark if that makes sense you know um, like aesthetically speaking the city looks phenomenal at night I just kind of uh, I kind of just prefer how at least for photo mode in the miles game there's just so much more you can do in terms of lighting because you can uh, go into the whole other lighting category and like place different lights to kind of like reflect off of the, you know, off the character, you know? And depending on the suit that you're wearing as well, it'll refract light differently too, like to really show off that you have um, a different texture, I guess, on the suit. I don't know, it's, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a weird one. I like it though. Alrighty, I am going to be leaving the stream here, and I, I'll i probably do the other two parts. Uh, the other two DLCs are significantly longer. Um, photo mode in Resident Evil... You see, the thing is, there is photo mode in Resident Evil Village. I was actually talking about this, I think, again, while you were refilling your cup. Um, I feel like photo mode was wasted on Village, considering you couldn't actually take pictures of Ethan. I think it would have been way better, but hey, that just tells me they're working on photo mode for the next game, and the game after that, and the game after that. Photo mode's just becoming a lot more um, frequent in games lately, and I'm all for it. Uh, especially in like the Naughty Dog games, like Uncharted, Last of Us. Those games were perfect for photo mode. Um, 
yeah, I, I hope to see it in more games. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna park the stream here, and I will return soonish. I won't say a specific day, in case I leave people hanging, but I, I will be probably continuing the, um, the Spider-Man DLC, but priority-wise, like I said the other day, I'm gonna be prioritizing Dead Space, I'm gonna be prioritizing uh, Life is Strange, and uh, I don't, I can't remember exactly what I mentioned yesterday, but, um, but yeah, I'm, <laughs> no more three month breaks, I don't, I don't know man, it depends on how much, how, like how much I actually need, but, uh, but yeah, next on the agenda in terms of like full on playthrough start to finish, Dead Space and Life is Strange, considering like spoopy seasons coming up, uh, when we get to October. That's what I'm going to be no-lifing. I'm going to be going straight to uh, Dead Space, Life is Strange. Because one is an actual horror game, the other one is set in October. In fact, one is, like, is, in fact, Life is Strange, like I said yesterday, is set, I think, during the week of Halloween. I'm pretty sure one of the parts actually takes place during a Halloween party. I think, like, episode four, episodes four and five, I think, take place on or right before Halloween. So... That's what I will be prioritizing stream-wise. So if you don't see, if you don't see like you know me playing Spider-Man, I will be playing Dead Space or Life is Strange, which I like. You know, what? I'm gonna try and install those. Actually, when I sign off tonight, I'm gonna I'm gonna get an install started for Life is Strange on my PlayStation. Like Dead Space is already sitting sitting pretty on my play, like on my uh, on my PC, so I can jump into that pretty much whenever. But when I sign off, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to download Life is Strange, uh, both Before the Storm and Life is Strange 1. And uh, just as a kind of a... You know, they'll be, they'll be there before uh, Halloween anyways. I'm going to be playing True Colors probably first. Because, purely because it's coming out this month, uh, next month I should say, it's still technically August, I mean it's not even technically August, it is just August, uh, but midway through September, uh, the new Life is Strange game is going to be coming out, and I will be playing the hell out of it. I cannot wait, um, a friend of mine sent me some gameplay of it, I didn't look at it too much because I want to, I don't want to be spoiled, I, I just want to go in pretty much doe-eyed and blind-eyed uh, like when I'm playing it so that's that's definitely something that I'm going to be um, playing pretty much all the way through it's gonna be weird though because normally the Life is Strange games are, are played like episodically sort of like the Telltale games but True Colors is just gonna be a two to three hour game uh, which is gonna be weird it's gonna be fucking weird man uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm so used to, um, I am, I am just so used to, uh, the Life is Strange games being completely episodic, but they're really good. They're cheesy as hell, but I fucking love them. Hopefully you guys do as well. It's, uh, it's just a lot of fun. Alrighty, I'm gonna skip the credits. I've talked long enough. I, I might be back tomorrow. I'm not too sure. I might take a... A couple days break, not a couple of months, but I, uh, I definitely want to get into some semblance of not a stream schedule, but I do just want to do it more frequently, just because I've I've missed it, I guess. But yeah, alrighty, later. And they still haven't found a body? No. Do you think she survived? I don't know. I mean, anything's possible, but... So, how's it feel to not be a dad? <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. Honestly, I, uh... I'm kind of relieved. Yeah, I've got a lot going on, you know. Yeah, you do. But... I 
think you're gonna be an amazing dad someday. At the right time. <laughs> With the right person. <laughs>